spontaneous discharge from an opening in the neck is quite upsetting for parents. In this clinical video, we will see a boy with brachial fistula and explore a bit more in detail what exactly it is. A 5-year-old boy presented to my OPD because his mother was concerned that her son is having a discharge from an opening in front of his neck. Mother noticed this opening and discharge coming from it after 15 days of life. On examination, the boy is sitting comfortably on the couch, looks well, well nourished and is not in distress. Discharge is coming from an opening along the border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Based on presenting complaints and examination findings, a diagnosis of brachial fistula is made. You may ask why. It's because it is present since day 15 of life, which means the condition is congenital and as the ostium is in the neck which gives a clue to brachial apparatus anomaly. Now, when the diagnosis of brachial fistula is confirmed, let's review its embryology in one minute. Human embryo at 5 weeks look like this. This is a lateral view. These are brachial or pharyngeal arches which form many structures of head and neck and lie between the developing head and chest. If we take a section at this level and look from here, this is how a pharyngeal apparatus looks like. It is composed of cleft arches and pouches. Outer surface of the pharyngeal apparatus has small grooves called clefts and are derived from ectoderm. Middle bulges shown in pink are arches and are derived from mesoderm and neural crest cells. Inner surface shown in blue and green are pouches and are derived from endoderm. The first cleft develops into external auditory meatus. The second pharyngeal arch grows caudally and covers second, third and fourth cleft to form a temporary cervical sinus which is obliterated during development. But in our boy, it is not obliterated and that's why we can see its opening in his neck from where discharge is coming. It's because of persistence of cervical sinus opening externally on skin and an opening internally in pharynx either through second, third or fourth pouches that brachial fistula occur. Now the question is why the secretions are coming from fistula. It's because it is lined by the respiratory epithelium which secretes mucus. Finally, coming to treatment. Treatment is complete excision when no inflammation is present timing of resection is controversial with some surgeons advocating for early resection to prevent infection while others wait until age 2 or 3 years that's all for now in this video if you have any queries or suggestions then do post in the comment section below if you haven't liked or shared yet then do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe thank you